Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today we're going to be taking a look at which fans are noisy in a pull configuration on my specific air cooler. Let's take a look at my testing. So while doing my fan testing, specifically checking out the Be Quiet over here, uh, Silent Wings 4 Pro, um, you know, the airflow check for air velocity in relation to uh, how much heat the cooler could dissipate. I noticed that um, having a Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 Pro on the back of my cooler, so this position, created a very high-pitched loud noise. And as I basically just stated, it, I think it's got to do with how tight these spacings are in relation to the fan blades. So basically like the sweep angle, how close they are together, and of course the RPM of the fan. So I ran through basically every single fan that I had access to to kind of check uh, which fans were insanely loud and which fans made absolutely no noise. So the Arctic P series, the P14 and P12 were noisy despite their relatively low RPM of, for the P14, 1,765, and for the P4, or P12 of 1,840 ish for the testing. They were incredibly noisy. So if you're gonna be using these in a pull configuration, I recommend looking at how far these blades are from whatever you're gonna put it up against, because otherwise you'll find it very noisy like the um, Noctua gasket, or not gasket, um, uh, spacer, what's it called? This one, the NF, uh, what's it, IS1, these guys, something along these lines, just to give a little bit of extra space between the fan and the blades and whatever you're gonna put it up against um, to hopefully reduce that sound, that will work. But just the fan by itself, again, something sharp. These may be incredibly noisy for you. Again, I don't have a radiator. So that the little edge of the metal might be enough to give enough space that they become quiet. But uh, I can't test it, so we're going to just continue with what it is. And then the second category I have is kind of a uh, slightly noisy, but not too bad. In this category, I'm going to just push these off to the side. We have like the Wonder Snail, which was spinning at... 2200 RPM. We had the SL series from Lee and Lee, both the Infinity and the uh, original SL were a little bit noisy, but not too bad. This, this is getting at, at maximum RPMs. So there will become a point where they do become quiet or quieter, but um, uh, you know. The uh, Noctua F12 was slightly noisy. Now the 3000 RPM of this would be incredibly noisy but the the regular version is basically in that slightly noisy acceptable category then we have the thermal right which one is this the g12 yep tlg12 was slightly noisy if this spun out of higher rpm it would become very noisy we had the slim version of the noctua nf a12 x15 this one was slightly noisy and also in the slightly noisy category was the Thermal Right B12. And then the last category was the non noisies, the ones that ran just whooshing air noise. And it was the Noctua NFF12, the Thermal, Thermal Take, yeah, Thermal Take Tough Fan. It was also completely silent. Well, not completely silent, but whooshing noise. We had the Thermal Right C12. Uh, we had my Cougar CV, v, CFV12HP. And um, all right, let's kind of take a quick look as to why I think some are noisier and one are, some are not. Silent Wings for one fan test. Be quiet, silent wings four, two fans. Well, 
Well, I must say these Be Quiet fans, particularly in the back position, makes a terrible noise on my knock to a cooler. Now, it may be different with different radiators or different coolers because they have different um, spacings in the in the fins, so how tightly packed they are. But on this particular one, I mean, just take a listen. That's at 50% PWM for the maximum. So approximately 1,600 RPM. So actually a fairly reasonable amount. I mean, a little high, but fairly reasonable. At 40, it almost goes away. At 30% at that, it really goes away. And those speeds are 1,200 RPM for uh, 30% at the um, uh, most extreme performance mode. So that little slider at the back pushed all the way over. So yeah i don't i might do one more set of testing with a nocto in the back and the be quiet in the front be quiet in the front in hs mode maximum rpm around 2500 nocto a12x25 in the back maximum rpm around 1100 so pretty well equalized So first off, RPM matters a lot. So like this one becomes uh, more or less not noisy at approximately 1,400 RPM is when it stops being very noisy. But again, that's not very fast. Uh, this one, I didn't really test at what point, but this one I think is noisy because of the shape. There's so much of the surface area that is really close to the um, front of the hub and the shape itself could actually just um, make a lot of noise because there aren't that many well lots of blades very few blades so I think it's got the shape so just a lot a lot of area is close close to the front of the fan or close to the, the grill uh, this one what's this the g12 you can see that the tip is out and then it slopes down and inward while the um, P series, the P's from uh, Arctic are basically flat across. The Be Quiet is flat across. This slopes down, so only the tip is close to the edge. If we look at um, the F12, it's not as pronounced, and I think this one is mainly due to RPM, because they do get pretty close to the edge, but there's a little bit more spacing than I think what we see on the on the G12 there. If we're looking at the um, SL series, again, they're close, but not insanely close, and they stay pretty flat to the edge. If we're looking at the Wonder Snail, they're close, but not insanely close. So I think this one, this one, I'm not sure why because it seems like it shouldn't be as noisy as it is. While the, what's this, B12, uh, the tip is pretty close and then it doesn't slope that far down. So I think that one's the reason there. And this one, there just isn't space for Noctua to slope those blades down and in. So they are pretty close to the edge. But if we look at the silent ones, there's quite a lot of space. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the angles right. There's quite a lot of space between the blades and the front of the fan housing, which is why this can go right up against a radiator or heatsink and be complete, more or less completely silent. The um, C12 series, they do get close to the edge uh, at the tip, but uh, I think this one might be related to RPM because even the fastest version, which is what I tested against of the C12, the C12 Pro, was only spinning at 1,900 RPM, which is a pretty good clip, but this one was basically silent. The Tough Fan, uh, that one was surprising, so I guess it's got to do with blade shape because it gets really close to the, the front edge. And the Cougar was also completely silent. And this one's got a good amount of space um, 
to the front. So I'm not 100% sure why some of these are super quiet and some of these are uh, moderately noisy and, uh, well, RPM matters, so, well, not for this one, but RPM matters for high noise. But I just kind of wanted to quickly go over this uh, kind of mid-step while showing off some of the data for uh, through the air cooler. So in conclusion going forward, I'm going to be testing my fans uh, briefly on this back uh, heatsink section to check to see if it makes a high-pitched buzzing sound at all and maybe at what RPMs it kind of goes away because I think it's a very valid test in case you were thinking of adding a second fan to a pull configuration for your specific cooler it, to determine if it may be noisy or not. So I'm going to be doing that in the future. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day.